I'm the discussion director. My job is to make a list of questions that my group might like to discuss. I'm the summarizer, and my job is to prepare a brief summary of today's reading. I'm the vocabulary enricher. My job is to find words that are puzzling or unfamiliar. I'm the travel chaser, and my job is to track where the action is taking place and when the setting changes. I'm the literary luminary, and my job is to find some of the special sections of the text. I'm the connector. Uh, my job is to find the, the connections between the book your group is reading and the world outside. Uh, I'm the illustrator. My job is to illustrate some uh, pictures from the book uh, that my group might find interesting. Some of the questions that I came up with were, what is your perspective on the story? Um, the jungle. Uh, I think it was about Naguri being teased by the other, uh, the other warthogs, the bigger warthogs, because he was so small, and the animals across the river, because he had no colour, no stripes, uh, no, no neck, just things like that. What is the moral of the story? Um, I thought to not tease people or judge them any differently because of their size or markings. Or... Have you ever seen this occur in real life? Yeah, yes. yes. If you had a choice to stand up for Nagiri or not, what would you choose? Um, I'd stand up to him because I wouldn't want to be treated like that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. um, this is my summary of the book. Um, Nagiri is the smallest warthog in Africa. The bigger warthogs would always tease him. The warthogs would always feel jealous of the other beautiful animals across the river. Um, Nagiri was given a pair of special bongos and he was told that when he plays them, he, uh, he can wish for whatever he wants. In his first wish, the other animals lost their stunning colours. In his second wish, Nagiri tried to get the colours back to the animals, but they went to the wrong animals. And in his last wish, Nagiri wished that Aaron was back to normal. And at the end, they had a celebration. Yeah, um, I found some of these words um, a bit unfamiliar, such as plumage, gorgeous, jealous, impressive, throbs, admire, growl, and echoes. Um, what do you reckon plumage means? Big, feathery thing. Um, several animals. What about jealous? Um, when someone wants to be like you or something. When you want to be, uh, being like someone else. Yes, and you want something. Yes, and you want to be like them. Like them. Yeah. Um, throb. Um, what it's like, like a bit like, like a bee, kind of, so like when it's like quietly. really hurts or um, can feel something like the, like your pulse beating in mm -hmm. a part of your body. Um, and growl. Like a loud roar or something. Roaring, roaring quietly. That's <laughs> 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 lovely, well done. How else can we find out about those particular words as well? We weren't sure. Um, using a dictionary. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, where the action began was on, was in Africa, on the side of the river where the warthogs were, on page one and two. And the key event happens um, where the wild beast, the beast was, and in the river when the animals were fighting, and it ended at the Grand Prix. Um, I had to um, find key points within the book um, that I thought really highlighted what the book was actually trying to say. Um, first, I went to this page because the animals are all towering over the little wood beast. Um, and if it was a moving picture, they would be stomping and roaring and everything and it would just make you feel very small and shallow. Um, I thought this was also important because 
it highlights how he's by himself in the dark, um, trying to entertain himself um, and wishing for something that may or may not happen. I went to this page and thought um, it highlighted how the animals felt that with their markings um, and their unique um, their uniqueness that it was so special to them and that's sort of all they really cared about all the time um, and the bright colours highlight that um, with the, compared to the greyness and I also went to this page as it shows that the happily ever after um, and good will always overpower evil and bad things Fantastic, that's lovely. I found bullying. Um, I see bullying in a playground. Like the bigger animals in the Jungle Drums book um, were overpowering the small little animal thing. What is it called again? Liberty. Liberty. And then teasing, um, they tease Nibiru because he didn't have any special colours or any patterns on him. And that's what I found. Uh, I was the illustrator and I had to illustrate uh, some pictures from the book that I found or the group might find interesting. Any ideas? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I can see a giraffe yeah. in the picture. So, could that symbolise the animal? Uh, it was the two sides of the river. Um, one side was the goddess animal. Uh, this side was the warlock side, and the guri is getting teased by a lord hog. And uh, there was the bongos that. Uh, Symbolise the drums that he got, uh, that he got um, to make his three wishes.